I would have thought that digging up a garden is not necessarily a good look for Extinction Rebellion. Am I wrong? Good, good morning, Nick. Yes, you're absolutely right. Digging a huge holes in our countryside is not the right thing for Britain to be doing when we're supposed to be leading the world at the Climate Change Summit this year. The holes that we're, the government is giving permission for, are, are the emissions are staggering. We're talking about more emissions than the entire British economy for a year. So this small action is a metaphor for what the government's doing to Britain, and it's got to stop. Right. But why would you and your colleagues dig up a garden? Because it actually brings to attention what the government is doing. Nobody is paying attention to the extraordinary destruction that the UK government is undertaking with these coal mines. I mean, the government just last week so you, told so the world you, your, that your we were colleagues, going to move out of coal. Your colleagues committing potential criminal damage is OK. Um, digging a hole is equivalent of actually digging a hole for a fruit tree. It's a tiny no, metaphor for no. the destruction that the UK government is committing. No, you don't own the land. It's not as if you're planting a fruit tree in your back or front garden. Yes, it's, it's an action of non-violent direct action, deliberately no, no, taken no, to criminal, bring attention to the government. Criminal damage, I'm sorry, you, the, I appreciate it's going to go before the courts, but if it is criminal damage, that's not non-violent. That's causing damage. Why, why do you seek to do that? And I know you're going you, to tell me to bring attention to it, but... Yeah, I mean, if you think that actually digging a hole in the ground equivalent to putting no, a tree think, into the, the soil is actually, is actually less important no, 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 than it, it the massive coal mines, then we've got a problem. No, it doesn't matter what I think, it's what the law thinks, isn't it? That, that's what we live by the law. We don't live by what yeah. you think is right or what I think is right. We live by what sure. the laws and, and our and lawmakers. Those, and, and those, and those um, protectors, those uh, climate protectors, undertook that action in full knowledge just like the suffragettes did, just like uh, Mahatma Gandhi did, just like Martin Luther King did. They're taking action to try and draw attention that Britain's in danger. I see. And I was listening to you, Nick, last week, and I, I know you as a decent person, and I listened to your campaign last week, and my oh, heart good. broke. Why? Why did your heart broke? Just... Here is a decent man who cares about Britain. Yes, I do. And rather than campaigning for the oil companies and the fossil fuel companies to be brought to court, you want the people ringing the alarm to be brought to court. That no, no, breaks no, my heart. No, no. Respectfully, Mr McCarthy, I wonder if you listen to it all, because if you had, this is the Enough is Enough campaign, just to remind my listeners, I want you, and it's vital you have the right to protest, but it has to be orderly protest. You do not have the right, your rights do not trump those of people who want to get to work or indeed to live in parts of the country where you protest. Of course you must protest. I would be Nick, the first in the barricades to keep you the right to protest. But no, no, Dan, we're not talking about that. What I'm actually trying to bring to your heart, Nick, is that you haven't campaigned for the oil companies and the fossil fuel companies to be brought to court, but you have campaigned for us. Now, why are you actually campaigning on the people who are destroying Britain I'm but not, on the people who are trying no, to protect Britain? That's no, my question to your no, heart. OK, and here's my response. I'm, I'm, well, people I'm campaigning for are those who need to go to work when you and your, I don't know if you personally, when your colleagues close bridges or close parts of London. People lost their job last year. People lost their livelihood. I want you to be able to protest, but it has to be with a degree of order so people can carry on working. Other people should not lose their jobs. You okay, must so the be able to... Yesterday, the action yesterday blocks no road. It, they, got, they, they got the whole equivalent of a fruit tree, and you're still complaining about it. Why, 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 uh, please, Nick, when are you going to bring the oil companies onto this programme and a campaign for them to be in brought in front of the courts? Because the damage they are doing I think to you the, and I the ordinary talk... people of Britain is phenomenal. I think it's you're... absolutely phenomenal. I think you and I have talked before about the incredible success that the LGBT community have had with their protests and how they have such public support. They have done that by winning public support. You, you, not you personally, your colleagues, you do it by confrontation, and um, I think it's actually, the wrong you're way. To somebody, you're talking to a 60 year old gay man okay, who, well, actually, who actually had my friends murdered in homophobic Let me finish. Who, where his men were, were murdered in homophobic crimes, and I was on the streets protesting. And yes, but I you've remember never Peter a bridge. being hated by people like you because what? we were doing protests like this no. where, that were actually disturbing and disruptive. Gay people did Mr. it as well. McCarthy, McCarthy, they never Closed down Trafalgar Square, the LGBT gay people community. Closed, gay people rioted in, in, in Stonewall and people attacked us for it. Stonewall was what set the fire that found my freedom. These people are the same people as the Stonewall people. And you are doing the same action as people I, said to the Stonewall gay people in the 60s. I, I, I urge you to listen to me more regularly. I'm gra grateful for your time. I am wholly supporting of the LGBT campaigns. I'm wholly supporting of gay rights. And I'm wholly supportive of your right to protest, but not to help other people lose their jobs, hinder their work. 
Donica McCarthy, thank you for your time. You're with Extinction Rebellion.